Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Mother. Last time, we performed telepathy on an unusual seashell, which transported us to this land of Magicant, and we met with Queen Mary and a whole bunch of other weird people. Anyway, that tune that we've been collecting pieces of is Queen Mary's song, and she wants us to sing it for her, but she can't remember herself for some reason. Hmm. Anyway, as you were dang it, wrong back here. As you saw before, there are a lot of uh, presents here, um, not a lot of them are very useful. This, I believe, has a magic herb, which we already have a full 30 bag, bag of 30 of them. This was an antidote. And this has something called flash dark, which is, uh, this is the opposite of a flashlight, pretty much as a chance to blind your enemies. Not very useful. Um, in here, I want what's in here. There was nothing in there. Anyway, I think it's an uh, antidote, magic herb, and a rope. I don't want any of those either. don't want them cluttering up my uh, inventory. So I'll leave them there. Now this room is interesting. There are six prisons here, however. Once you open one, the rest will also be emptied. So, you want to choose wisely. Now, most of these just aren't very useful. There's a PSI stone, I believe, in this one which um, will actually restore PP, but uh, that's like a consumable item, not very useful. Up here, this one has a fight capsule, which uh, will permanently increase your fight stats, so this one I would suggest, but it's not the one I'm going to pick, because remember, fight stat um, determines how often you get smash attacks, how often you're hit by smash attacks, and your accuracy as well as uh, your evade. See, there's also a rope, there's a... Uh, gosh, what else is there? Antidote. There's a couple other things that are just not really useful. What I want is this present right here. A boomerang. See how all, yep, they're all open now. So, go to goods, and let's equip that. We got ourselves a boomerang. That's a pretty good weapon for this point in the game. All right. Still something I want to get. Forget where we get it. Remember this guy was talking about an onyx hook. Maybe we don't I, I think I could get it uh, further ahead. There's nothing else we can do in this castle for now. So let us go. And see what else there is in Magic Hand. I just talked to him. You don't have to solve any more riddles. All right. So um, let's do some more battling, and I'll also show you some other neat stuff. Let's see. Yeah, this blue right here. This is like a barrier, so you can't get past it. Across this bridge over here. My, yeah, that was the wrong bridge. Where is it up there? I want to go. Darn it, yeah. 2 4 south. Oh well. Ooh, we have a new enemy, the Magic Snail. Let's see how our boomerang does against it, because these guys have high defense, as you might suspect. Yeah, only 29. At least they're uh, slow. Easy enough. I'm still a little bit over leveled, I might have must admit, but um, it helps. I want to go is up here. Yeah, here's that fountain that everyone was talking about the last episode. Hmm. Ah, sound from another world. I want to check that out. Now you touch it and you get healed. Something else you can do. Use telepathy on it. The benevolent old man showed up. Yes. Sure. And he works as an ATM, but you can only withdraw. You can't actually um, deposit. So if you forgot to get some money before, you can get it here now. Alright. 
let's do some more exploring slash battling. Some more stuff I want to show you. Let's see if I can... Oh, there's something else I forgot to show. Red weed. Oh, baby, we got some weed. But, uh, take a red weed. Back to the fountain. And... Use it here. We get a magic herb, so the weed becomes herb. <laughs> oh, man. Odd jokes. And just more snails. Alright. What else? Let's go this way. There's a little path leading over here. And another house. Ooh, you, you look weird. Oh, I remember we just heard about a guitar playing man. Oh, you're playing it? <laughs> That's why it was so loud. It was right next to you. Ah, uh, so we can only see him when we become really strong. Actually, forget about this guy. What the f What is this cat doing? Like... The cat who swims on the ground. So we have the cat who just swims in water, and this one swims through the ground. Hmm, what is in your hand? Oh. Sweet. Ah. Uh. I'm not a girl. See, so yeah, we need to come back with a girl. Hmm. A non singing monkey. Well, you're, you're useless then. Nah. <laughs> what? I look like Queen Mary. Yeah, well, let's see what happens when we say yes. <laughs> How about you? <laughs> well, that makes sense. All right. Hmm. Man who everyone forgot about. Uh, there's so many interesting enemies around here, but I keep running into freaking magic snails. More magic snails, but at least I got to the next level. Ah, oh, only two. Two, three, yay! Ooh, strength, yes. Strength is what I'm mostly worried about. Uh, only three more to my max HP, four more to my max PP. Not too bad, but not the best. Alright, come on. Something else besides magic snails. Anyway, come up here behind... Uh, the castle, and there's this one lone shell. And we have a whole bunch of birdmen. Now, when I first played this game, I thought they were like men with really long beards that just stuck out straight in front of them, like they were like sticking their chin up, but nope, those are beaks. So, talk to one. I'm the flying man, my destiny is to help you. And we actually get a flying man in our party. Flagmen are interesting. He's not going to be a permanent member of our party. And, uh, well, let me just show you. Let's get into a fight. Hopefully there's something interesting. Another rave eat it. Well, I actually want to show what he can summon, so I'm just going to guard. Flagman attacks, and he doesn't do that much damage. And every attack that the enemy does will hit the flying man, so you're pretty much guarded. But there's a downside. Well, the first one I could just say right off that it is impossible to kill... It is impossible to heal, sorry, a flying man, unless you go to the fountain. There's no other way to do it because he won't show up in your party menu. Anyway, he summoned up his friend, so now we can attack. Because I want to show you this guy, but I already forgot what it's called. Sky eat it, so the teddy sky bear. Let's get it. Uh, these are quite a bit harder than the uh, rave eat it. You can see how much damage is already taken and it's still kicking, but not too hard. 
Alright, let's see what else. Because there's something else I want to show you with the flying man. Something depressing. I'll just tell you that much. Right. Hopefully against something besides a freaking magic snail. Oh, well, that was another magic snail, but uh, on the upside, I learned a new power. Let's see, what did I learn? Ah, oh, come on. Let's try that again. I learned Quick Up. I believe that speeds you up. Alright. Let's see, where do I want to go? Yeah, I'm heading the wrong way anyway. Oh, here we go. We have four eyes. So we have some other silly enemies. These guys are actually pretty vanilla, so don't worry too much about them. Yeah, nothing to them. But yeah, we're doing massive damage. When they have less defense, we can do up to 50. Whew. The direction I want to go... Gosh, where is that? Is this it? Yeah, this is it. Okay, this is an interesting enemy. This is definitely one sh something I want to show up. Are you playing along? Oh crap, I have a flying man with me. Ah, well a guard. Don't attack it. But the flying man is going to uh, attack it anyway. And it's probably going to ruin our chances of getting what I want. Crap. Dang it, flying man. Well, if you don't attack it for enough turns, something interesting happens, but flying man attacks automatically. Uh-oh. Widow. Okay, this is one I pick it up. Luckily, these aren't... Wait, is it? No, okay. There's another enemy that's also made of wood that's a lot more dangerous than that guy. That I'll probably just end up running from anyway. Remember all those... He was talking about a place with a whole bunch of holes? Well... Here it is. Now, I know which one, there's a whole bunch of them and there's only one you can enter. I know which one it is, but there's something I freaking want to show you with the flying man. So um, I'll just meet you when I can finally show it. Okay, there it is. Flying man was hurt and beaten. Now I'll just kill this guy off and um, you'll see that we know how no longer have the flying man in our party. Hmm. Well, if you uh, go over here... I think I have to... Uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. There's now a gravestone. To Ninten's great sorrow, the brave soldier flying man rests here in peace. That's right. Once the flying man is defeated and dies, they stay dead and there's a grave. Like it can say, to, and it says different things like Tintin's great horror, the grave of the flying man is here, and it just. It is depressing, so I prefer not to have flying men in my party. For that, and also for the reason of the whole Groucho thing. Plus, they aren't very useful to begin with. I mean, they'll block a few attacks, but there's. There's not much else to them. Ooh, Dad's eyes. Hmm. Yeah, we have these weird, like, eye enemies everywhere. But, once more, just a vanilla enemy. Just beat it up. Alright, so... Now, I finally want to go back to where those wells are, and, uh... I swear, I think that when you have Flying Man in your party, it, like, lowers the encounter rate, because I was walking around for, like, a minute and a half before I got attacked off-screen. Anyway, the well you want to enter is this one. And you end up in a maze. Now, I believe... Ah, I'm going to tell you the directions, but first, let's fight Ulrich. Man, these are some weird enemies. But nothing to, uh... Try to tell him about. Just beat him up. Alright, so we're going to go right... Now, I get in another level? Dang! Speed. Oh, we got getting some threes here. Ah, only a two there. No increase in HP, but an increase in PP by eight. Not bad. Ah, I swear, when I'm trying to actually record, it's every step I get into battle. When I'm not recording, it's like the battles barely ever come. Curse of the Let's Play. Anyway, right, left, left, 
right. Okay, made it. Ooh, now I can now I can show you th show this off. Okay, don't attack, guard. Yeah, it's going to, he's going to attack you, but don't worry, just keep guarding. Oh, come on, Groucho. Come on. Stop it! That's supposed to be attacking me. No! Stop it! Come on. Well, at least you guys down to 69 HP. That's worth it. Oh, never mind. Okay, usually they don't do this. They do it like they may might attack once and then they'll do what they're supposed to do right away. But I don't know what this guy's problem is. There we go. And you get more experience than you would have gotten if you just killed him. So that is useful. But seriously, usually he's not he's not like all uh, weird about it. Let's see what's in here. This. Oh, magic herb. I'll just use a magic herb since, uh... I need to empty out my inventory anyway. See, off-screen the Groucho did it, like, right away. I don't know what... I don't know what his problem was. Ah, oh, see, now the Grouchers are being nice. I don't know what... Ah. Oh. PSI stone, alright, so if our PP goes down, we can use that to go up. Alright, anyway, let's, uh... Whoa, what is this thing? Do I dare speak to it? The dragon sleeps. Ten psychic power is short of waking the dragon. So, pretty much we have to actually be more powerful in order to wake this dragon. So I can't do anything with that yet. Don't go through there yet. Because there is more stuff ahead. Oh, okay, I, I don't want the sword right now. Leave that there. We, uh... Actually, do I want it? Because I can put that into storage. No. No, I don't want it. I do not want it now. Not yet. Because, uh, well... Ninten, he can't actually equip it. Actually, maybe I do want to go through that, uh, that thing. I think what we're, what I'm really looking for is actually in there, so maybe I was mistaken. Oh, I remember. You go through here and you get a kind of boss fight. I think it's actually pretty easy. I'm not going to worry about doing anything fancy. I promise, later in the game, you will have to... Oh, yeah, you can attack twice in a row. Except I promise later there will be a more strategy when it comes to enemies. Crap, dodged. Like when we get new PSI powers and when they can uh, do crap against us. There we go, that was easy, alright. Alrighty, to the next level. Again, three levels in one episode, that is not bad. Three, 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 Nice. Nine? Mm -hmm. Only two. Oh. But what's down here is very important. In fact, I'm going to make uh, room for it. Sorry, I just take up there. Alright, wait. Did it get rid of it? Yeah, okay. Check. Onyx hook. This is an amazing item. Use it, and uh, pretty much wherever you are, you're warped right back into Magic Hand. But uh, the downside is that you have to go through all of this again. You have to find this area, go through it again, just to get back out. But still, the Onyx Hook, keep it with you at all times. Keep it in Nintendo's inventory. Got it? Alright. Anyway, who's this guy? Oh, what's wrong, dude? 
Well, I see you. You, you okay? You're depressing. How is that possible? Man, what is this guy? Um, yes. Oh, I don't think we have to say that. Okay, this time say no! Then just say yes. And he goes away. That is depressing. And where do we end up? What the? We're in a cave with a shell, but it's a different cave. Where will it end up? You're gonna have to find out next time on Let's Play Mother. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.